All right, what's up, everybody? Brian here, and this is my WWE Backlash uh, pay-per-view event predictions video for this Sunday's huge co-branded uh, event, Backlash. So let's get right into it. Uh, they announced um, today that they're, uh, that the match taking place on the kickoff show is going to be involving Ruby Riot. Uh, taking on Bailey, of course, a few weeks ago, uh, the Riot Squad, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and Sarah Logan uh, made their debut on Raw uh, via the Superstar Shakeup, and they attacked Bailey and Sasha Banks during a match that those two had. And last Monday night, Ruby Riot defeated Sasha in a one-on-one -on -one match because of, uh, with a little help from the Riot Squad, Bailey was not in Sasha's corner. Um, so she's going to be looking for a bit of revenge for herself coming up this Sunday uh, when she takes on Ruby Riot. But um, in this one, I don't see any different result than when, than when Ruby defeated... Uh, Sasha on Monday, I see Ruby Riot winning this one because of the Riot Squad, um, unless Sasha's in her in Bailey's corner. I see Ruby Riot walking out with the with the W on Sunday night. Uh, we have a huge tag team matchup, uh, a bit of a rematch uh, for this one, in which Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley team up to take on Kevin Owens. And Sami Zayn. This one, um, as I mentioned, is a bit of a rematch from Raw from a couple of weeks ago, where Strowman and Lashley won. Uh, however, I do see Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn somehow pulling out the victory in this tag team match on Sunday night. Um, you know, you know, they they lost that match uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I think they're going to win this Sunday night over Strowman and Lashley, somehow, some way. Uh, we have Daniel Bryan. He's going to be taking on Big Cass. This one has been brewing for weeks, ever since uh, Big Cass came to SmackDown Live via the Superstar Shakeup, and has seemed to target Daniel Bryan. Uh, he's, ca he's called him short. He's, he said he reminds of, him, of himself when he was before he got big, um, and he basically has made it very clear that he wants to beat Daniel Bryan, that he's going to beat him up, he's going to beat him up at Backlash, um, and Big Cass is one of the reasons, is the reason that Daniel Bryan did not win the Greatest Royal Rumble on Friday night, where he's, uh, Daniel Bryan set, uh, the new record of 76 minutes in a Royal Rumble match, uh, that's an hour and 16 minutes, I believe. Yeah. So, before being eliminated by Big Cass, um, and then we saw what happened this past Tuesday night. Daniel Bryan was not medically cleared uh, to be at SmackDown because of a possible chest infection uh, or fear of a, of a chest infection from taking uh, chops from Roderick Strong during that Greatest Royal Rumble match. Big Cass decided to have a little bit of fun. He called out Daniel Bryan. This little guy dressed up as Daniel Bryan came out. It was fun. And then Big Cass delivered a big boot and then beat down the, the little man, obviously sending a message to Daniel Bryan for Sunday. Uh, in my opinion, um, and I know there's probably going to be some Daniel Bryan fans that are not going to agree with this, but I say Big Cass wins on Sunday. That's my official pick. I think he wins on Sunday. Um, it is going to be a tall order, tall order for Daniel Bryan to win, you know, given the size difference and the power uh, difference. But I think Big Cass walks out with the W uh, coming up Sunday night. Uh, we have Samoa Joe going one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns. Uh, Roman Reigns on a little bit of a losing streak the last couple of weeks. 
you know, of course, losing to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania in that Universal title match. And then, of course, last Friday, last week, he lost in a controversial fashion. Um, I, I don't agree with the decision. I, I really, as a, I know, watching it, I didn't agree with that decision, but this is WWE, uh, where Lesnar retained because he was the first one out of the cage the, when Reigns speared, speared him through the side panel of the cage. Even though it looked that from the footage they showed, Reigns' feet hit the floor first. So, uh, but Reigns and Samoa Joe are going to be going one on one Sunday. Uh, Samoa, this is one. I think this is one of two uh, interpromotional matches. Samoa Joe, of course, was a, is a part of SmackDown Live via the Superstar Shakeup. Roman Reigns, a part of Monday Night Raw. Um, I see Roman Reigns winning this one to give him a big win. Um, so that's my official pick. I think this is going to be a good matchup. Um, there's a couple of matches that I'm really looking forward to as far as being good matches, and this is one of them. So, um, but my official pick is Roman Reigns. Uh, we have the SmackDown Women's title on the line as Carmella defense against Charlotte Flair. Um, Carmella, of course, uh, a couple of weeks ago on SmackDown, or I believe it was the SmackDown after WrestleMania, cashed in her Money in the Bank uh, contract on Charlotte Flair and won the championship after the Iconics, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, uh, attacked Charlotte and left her laying. Uh, this one... Uh, this one I'm I I'm I'm gonna I'm going with Carmella to retain because I I think that she deserves a little bit of a run with the championship. I'm I'm nothing against Charlotte Flair, but I'm tired of seeing the same ones getting the championship all the time. Um, I'm sorry to say, but that's just my opinion on that. I think Carmella should have a run with the championship. So I'm going with Carmella to retain, and I think there's going to be some kind of chicanery or some kind of interference, whether it be from the Iconics or something else that helps Carmella retain that championship. Uh, the other women's title that's going to be on the line is going to be the Raw Women's Championship. It's going to be Nia Jax defending against Alexa Bliss. I'm. It's the same thing with, like, uh, with Carmella, I think Nia Jax uh, deserves a run with that championship. She won it at WrestleMania, defeating Alexa Bliss. Um, Alexa, over the last couple of weeks, has had uh, basically these like real good segments, you know, building up to this match where she has uh, talked about Nia being a bully. Uh, she's brought up different things about you know, situations with Nia being a bully towards her. Um, I don't see I I don't see Alexa winning this one. I see Nia walking out victorious and remaining Raw Women's Champion. So that is my official pick for that match. Uh, the United States title is going to be on the line. This is another one that I'm really looking forward to. Um, there might be some people out there that that are not, but I'm I'm actually one that's actually looking forward to this match. Randy Orton challenging Jeff Hardy for the U.S. title. I think this one is going to be a good matchup. Uh, we've seen what's been transpiring between these two guys uh, since Jeff Hardy came to SmackDown Live via the Superstar Shake-Up. Um, after he defeated Jinder Mahal for that for the U.S. championship on Raw, he, made, he came to SmackDown Live the next night, via, like I said, via the Superstar Shakeup, interrupting Randy Orton. The team has been going on a little bit of one-upsmanship. Then we saw what happened this past Tuesday night after a tag team match that Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy won over The Miz and Shelton Benjamin, where Randy Orton hit an RKO out of nowhere on Jeff Hardy. Um... As far as picking a winner for this one, I think Jeff Hardy retains. 
Um, even though I wouldn't be surprised if they put the championship back on Randy Orton, but I think Jeff Hardy retains the championship Sunday. Uh, the Intercontinental Championship is going to be on the line as The Miz challenges Seth Rollins. Uh, the story in this match is The Miz looking to tie the record with Chris Jericho of having nine Intercontinental Championship reigns. Um, do I see that happening? No. I don't see that happening because if it happens, they either move, they would either have to move Miz to, uh, back over to Raw, or they would have, or they would have where both the U.S. title and the IC title are on SmackDown, and I don't see that happening, so, um, I do see Seth Rollins winning this match and retaining the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, this is another match that I think could be could be a, a show stealer as well. Both, you know, we've seen in the past how great mat what great matches Seth Rollins has put on. Um, of course, with of course the latest one being this past Monday night against Finn Balor and The Miz. For his credit, there have been some matches that I've that I've actually been impressed with uh, from The Miz. You know, he is capable of putting on some great matches. So I think this is another match that is a uh, show, going to be a show stealer. Um, but I see Seth Rollins walking out still Intercontinental Champion, um, which brings us to the big one, the WWE Championship on the line in a no disqualification match. AJ Styles defending against Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, this one is a win-win for Nakamura. This is his fifth opportunity at the WWE Championship. He's had two opportunities when Jinder Mahal was champion, and now this is his third time um, against AJ Styles. Um, that's not since Styles has been champion. So this is a win-win for Nakamura. If they if he doesn't win. Then they need to move on with the, um, they need to move on with somebody getting somebody else into that title picture and being the next challenger. But if he does win, this could lead to a rematch between these two, uh, probably at the next pay per view, which I think is um, I think it's Money in the Bank. Uh, so like I said, it's a win win for Nakamura. It's no disqualification, so that means that that low blow that he has been hitting on Styles every time is legal, that he can use it. Um, do I see him winning the championship? Yeah, I actually see Shin, uh, I actually see Shinsuke Nakamura winning the championship from AJ Styles, and um, and that's pretty much about it. So. Um, my thoughts on this show coming up on Sunday, I'm expecting a good show. Hopefully it turns out to be a, a, a pretty good show. Uh, there are, like I said, there are a couple of good uh, matches to really watch out for. Um, but I'm hoping that this is a good show coming up Sunday. So with that being said, if you guys are planning on watching Backlash this Sunday, let me know what you guys think is going to happen in the comments below. This has been my WWE Backlash uh, 2018 predictions video. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.